Good Thursday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. And I'm Natalie Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got another great show coming your way. We're starting off in the kitchen, our favorite <laughs> spot. Indeed. And can we just say, this is an amazing spread. I mean, we are very excited to dive in. And the Farm Table Kitchen at Locale Market in St. Petersburg is a unique way to enjoy the culinary offerings of the market in a restaurant setting or a TV studio yeah, setting I like know, we have right? today. <laughs> they are offering summer cocktails and light bites including special cocktails inspired by the horse exhibit at the nearby Dolly Museum. Joining us this morning is executive chef Jeffrey Heilman. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. How are you? And we have lead mixologist over here, Brandon. Good morning. Hi, how are we doing? Yeah. It is always our favorite, our favorite shows when we can start off in the kitchen. And look at this. Okay. We're already working. Either, either ready side to go. Up. I love it. What are you cooking for, Chef? Well, I'm very glad that you asked. So, as I'm sure you know, uh, we do a really amazing happy hour over at Farm Table Kitchen. It runs uh, Monday through Friday uh -huh. from 5 to 7. Um, I've got a lot of our, you know, nice little tasty bites here on display, but one of my favorites, one of the crowd favorites, is our steamed Tudox clams. So, Tudox? What's Tudox? Tudox. So <laughs> this is a, um, a couple of guys that we've been working with since the very beginning. So it's actually a really fun story. It's a father and son duo um, that decided to get sort of out of the rigmarole of, you know, the hustle and the bustle of um, office life. So they opened up a clam farm. It's actually right underneath the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Oh. And these clams are fantastic, super meaty, very flavorful. Well, so, you just poured white wine, it smelled like in there. I did. <laughs> so in the pan already, I have a little bit of our house-made Italian sausage. There's a little bit of garlic, a little bit of shallots. Of course, I put the clams in, and now we're just gonna steam them with a little bit of veg stock and some of that white wine. What's the secret to cooking clams? Do, you, do they just kind of peek open when they're ready? Exactly. Okay. And you don't want to overcook them because they turn into little, like, pencil eraser rubber. Ah, uh, no yeah. One that. So, Good analogy. Well, yes, hey, what did you, you mix? You are already mixing up drinks, Brandon. What are you making over here? So this is a nice watermelon basil cocktail that we use with a little bit of Hendrix gin, a little bit of lime, really wonderful summer flavors. Uh, nice, light, and refreshing. Yeah, I would so. say so. Thank Absolutely. you. And then talk about the other drink. What is? How do you describe what you guys are doing, especially with local ingredients? You guys sure. are right there near the Dolly Museum, so you're mm -hmm. you know, able to really offer some really cool, different, unique yeah, we are. options. Well, you know, we always do a different lineup of cocktails with the different Dolly exhibits. So, of course, right now they're featuring Horst. So these are some cocktails that are inspired by that sort of, you know, um, Parisian, summery, you know, sexy sort of mindset, if you will. Um, so we do have some of our favorites. We've got the Parisian Summer, which... That's this one right here, right, with the little... Uh so the Parisian summers could be our watermelon okay. base oh, right here. Exactly. And we um, have our... Uh, yeah, please, by all means. We have our beautiful uh, summer fashions here where we do a coche americano infused with a little bit of cantaloupe and mint. Be a play Ooh, on a flip. Love that. Here we have a Marilyn Monroe, kind of signatured by her red lipstick, so we use a little bit of strawberry. It's going to be a strawberry lemon spritz. It's very light, very refreshing. And then we have here this uh, beautiful orange peel. It's going to be a uh, Bacchanal, which is uh, going to be a play on a, uh, a ballet that Dolly oh, actually cool. did some costume design for with uh, Horst. So uh, this is going to be uh, kind of like a whiskey sour with a, a nice peach puree. Do you help come up with these drinks? It's got to be fun to have a theme, you know, again, or, or inspiration to draw from right oh, there absolutely. at the Dollar Museum to, to figure out some, you know, absolutely. unique drinks and Absolutely. It's, uh, it's definitely a treat. It's a blast. And uh, we, we have a lot of fun doing what we get to do. Sure you do. And speaking of a lot of fun, I mean, check out some of these other things that we do need to touch on. I've already eyed the cantaloupe mixed with mint, <laughs> oh, which yeah. is amazing. They put it far away, so I'm not eating any of it right now. And the charcuterie. I mean, you've got fresh mm -hmm. cheese. I mean, break this down for us because it looks sure. amazing. So on our happy hour menu, you would be able to find all of these, uh, you know, very enticing light bites. Of course, in the summertime, you want to keep it light and fresh mm -hmm. and, you know, just get a little snack before dinner, right? So we have uh, artisanal cheeses and salumis from across the globe. Here we have one of our newer items. This is a whipped ricotta. It's finished with a little bit of peach puree, some fresh peaches that we're getting from Georgia right now. 
I mean, they're just oh, super succulent well, and juicy. Well, and and let's talk about kind of the food scene right now and, and kind of the need, the demand, I think, from people, you know, coming into places like yours where they're sure. wanting fresh or, you know, ingredients. They're wanting what's in season. They're wanting to know where this stuff is coming from. Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, within the last decade or so, with the onset of all the cooking shows and challenges mm -hmm. on TV and stuff like that, you know, people are becoming much more aware about how they're nourishing their bodies and, you know, want to know where all this food is coming from. So, at Locale, you know, we always like to support local farmers. Of course, all of our fish comes out of the Gulf. We get calls from, you know, fishmongers and fishermen about <laughs> 5 or 5.30 every day. Um, but, you know, we like to, like I said, keep it simple. You don't have to do too much to great ingredients to make yeah. them taste delicious. So. Wow, well, I can't wait to dive in. And I was going to say, I even made a request oh, for one of those to be a mocktail. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, are, are we able to have one that, uh, oh, wow, look at this. I know, look, they up. opened right up. That's yes, perfect. I so I yeah. tell you what, we're going to just grab a little bit of this fresh kale from Uriah's Urban Farms, throw that in there just for a little fresh greenery, and then we'll be ready to eat. So. Oh, wow. Yum, yum, yum. Thought you'd never ask. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, and hey, as we close to you, guys are located in the Sundial area of St. Pete, which is just booming these days. Indeed. Talk about a great location. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's great. You know, we get a lot of foot traffic. Of course, there's plenty of great shops and, um, you know, other um, restaurants and things like that in the area. But we feel very proud to be, you know, right up there. Yeah. Um, toe to toe with those guys. So. And I got asked, we were talking before the segment started, you're uh, from Wyoming. And so how much do you enjoy being able to cook with all this fresh seafood? Oh, I absolutely love it. You know, there's not a whole lot of fresh seafood in Wyoming. No, uh, really? unless, we're, unless we're talking about uh, <laughs> trout. So, but, you know, these are absolutely phenomenal. And I really feel very grateful that we work with, you know, such great purveyors and um, local farmers and fishermen, like I like I mentioned, so. Wow. Well, good stuff. Yeah, Guys, thank you, thank thank you so you. much for coming in and this morning. We're looking forward to having you back, and we're going to dive in in the commercial break. Do you think we got some time? <laughs> we'll make time. We'll make